financing Android TV. So this isn't a new platform. That's kind of the point. We're simply giving TV the same level of attention as phones and tablets have traditionally enjoyed. We want you to be able to leverage your existing skills and investment in Android and extend them to TV. There's now one Android SDK for all form factors. So today, I'm going to use the Android TV app on my phone. And the best way to understand Android TV is to just see it in action. So what you're about to see is hot off the press and really just an early look at the TV support that we're adding to the L developer preview. So in L, we've added what we call the TV input framework to Android. So it enables Android-based TVs to handle video from sources such as HDMI, TV tuners, and IPTV receivers. And the UI provides a unified view of your channels in a familiar channel hopping UI with the channel information on the top. Now, if you want to do something different, just like every other Android device, you press home. And you'll notice that home overlays on top of the content, so I can keep watching while I browse. But unlike phones and tablets, where the behavior is more task-based, we designed home to be a super simple lean-back experience. Because TVs, unlike computers or mobile devices, they're primarily entertainment interfaces. Users don't expect or want complexity from their TV. As I scroll down, you get immediate access to your applications, ordered by how often you use them. Scroll down again, you get access to your apps, also ordered by usage uh, order. Now, if I scroll back up to the content recommendations, you can see this is a quick way for me to watch content. The recommendation system is completely open. Any app can publish to it, and it's ranked according to your usage patterns. So for example, I'm currently binge watching Game of Thrones. I am actually. Uh, and I'll automatically be uh, presented with a recommendation for the next episode, like so. With Android TV, we decided to build a core search functionality directly into the experience, powered by voice. So for example, I can just simply say, Breaking Bad. Google will interpret the result, get me a result for the popular TV show. Now, with one click, I can then watch it in Google Play Movies and TV or any other service that I have installed. If I scroll down, you'll see information on cast members. Scroll down again, I get related search terms, also YouTube clips at the bottom. Now, I can also pivot on cast members. So for example, I can click on Anna Gunn. I'll get that nice material transition. I'll get information on the actress. Scroll down, I can get movies and TV uh, shows that she's starred in, even uh, YouTube clips of interviews with the actress. Now, the power of Google comes into its own for more abstract queries. So for example, I can just say, Oscar-nominated movies from 2002. Google will interpret that query and, of course, get me all my Oscar-nominated movies. And so from here, of course, one click, I can, I can watch it. Now, search course is backed by Google's knowledge graph, so I can also ask it questions. So for example, I could say something like, who played Katniss in The Hunger Games? And of course, the answer is, Jennifer Lawrence played Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games. Developing for TV means creating a 10-foot user experience, so-called because that's typically how far you're standing from the, or sitting from the screen. In L, we've expanded the, the platform to support a lean-back experience with new framework classes that help you to quickly and easily build fluid, cinematic, 10-foot user experiences. With Android TV, we enable you to take your games to the biggest screen in your house. And the games are getting really good. So for example, let me fire up a, one of my favorites, which is Leo's Fortune with this gamepad. And this is a really good, fun game. It's, it's kind of typical of a modern Android game. It's got great gameplay. It's got great graphics, fast and fluid. I also like it because our lead UX designer's name is Leo. He's not quite as cuddly as this guy, but I can definitely see him with a handlebar mustache. Um, anyway, so uh -huh. another advantage of Android TV is you can tap into Google Play Games to share achievements and leaderboards with friends. You can even play multiplayer games with your friends playing from any device. So for example, I can launch NBA Jam, which is a really great game, uh, and play a multiplayer game with my friend Alan here on the sofa. So let's try it out. So he's playing on his tablet. I've got my game controller. Let's try this. So we have a bet on. The first person to score is me. 
Okay, first one to two. Okay, let's go. So the first one person to do has to buy the other person beer tonight. Let's go. Oh, hopefully I can actually score. I'm from Ireland, so I don't really understand this game. Android TV enables us to bring Google Cast to more TVs. So for example, imagine Alan's visiting my house and he wants to share his new favorite jam with me. He can just fire up play music on his phone or tablet and cast it directly to my TV. The store will open officially in the fall with the launch of L, packed with some of the best content available today for Android, tailored, of course, for TV. So that's a quick overview of Android TV.